This informational video is for how to enable online archiving for an Office 365 account. The focus of this video is scoped to cloud accounts only. For on-prem managed accounts and other topics, please see our video library. The goal for this video is to enable archiving safely without service impact in a production environment. With that in mind, using Microsoft Best Practice, we will enable archiving for a single test account initially, confirm that the archiving solution is working as expected, and then proceed to the rest of the accounts. First, we will need to create an archive storage for our test account. As of Q1 2016, you will need an E3 license or higher to be able to use the in-place archive feature with unlimited storage. Enabling in-place archive for your account provisions a separate mailbox that is dedicated for your archiving solution. You can enable in-place archive feature from the admin portal. Log in a portal with a global admin account. Go to Exchange Admin Center. Click on Mailboxes. You should now see the full list of all Exchange-enabled accounts in your tenant. Select the account that you wish to enable the feature for and simply click on Enable. As you can see, the archive mailbox is provisioned as expected. Note that even though you are provided an unlimited storage amount for archiving, the archive mailbox is initially provisioned at 100 gigs. This is to protect the service from a compromised account. You can simply open a support ticket to expand the archive mailbox as needed. Let's do another account. This is a common warning for accounts that have yet to be accessed by the end user. Simply have the end user log into the mailbox for the warning to go away. You can also enable the in-place archive feature using Remote PowerShell. Admin Portal should validate that change after a few seconds. Assuming that auto mapping is enabled, the archive mailbox will automatically show up in OA and a supported version of Outlook Client. Please note that Outlook and Office 365 Business and Business Premiums currently do not support the features listed below. This concludes our informational video on how to enable online archiving with Office 365 Part 1. Thank you for watching.